Hola, gracias por seguir con nosotros. La semana pasada uh, hablamos de dos jóvenes que firmaron sus cartas de intento a jugar béisbol a nivel colegial. Y hoy están aquí con nosotros de la Rogers Heritage High School. Está aquí con nosotros Dalton McCohan y Colton Wetzler. Hola, chicos, ¿cómo están? Hi, guys, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I'm fine, thank you. Estoy bien, muchas gracias. Bueno, pues, um, I have a few questions for you guys. I want to know a little bit about you and what was the process uh, involved in picking the college that you chose? Which, um, if you could tell us where it's located um, and how you came about that decision. So, quiero que me, me cuenten qué fue el proceso en escoger este colegio. Uh, creo que está en Oklahoma, si nos dicen un poco de su decisión y por qué la hicieron. Um, really, it just, I, I mean, basically just if the money was right and then, I mean, every college that we visited, I liked. Like the location, everything was good. It just came down to, I mean, what felt most at home, I guess. Okay, what about you? Um, the process started with going to the schools. The coaches contacted us to come up for a visit and a workout, mm -hmm. and we would go up there. We work out. We did about probably eight or seven or eight of those, and um, we finally a couple schools liked us, offered us. A couple more schools came over, offered us working out some more offered us and we finally just came down to it to where we visited Carl Albert and Poto and we liked it the best and you know that's what we chose. So did you um, cho did you go to these schools with your coach? Is, is that how you came about the school? ¿Fueron a estas escuelas con su entrenador? ¿Así fueron a aplicar a ellas? No, I mean, I mean basically like we just went together like our mm -hmm. parents didn't go, nothing like that. Like we just went whenever the coaches contacted us and set up a time and so. Okay, so what was different about the school that you preferred over the rest? Other, I mean, obviously there's the money and all that. ¿Qué preferieron de esta escuela que no tenía las otras? Um, well, for me it was, it was close to home. It was only, it's only about an hour and a half away from here. Mm -hmm. um, and it was like a small university. Mm -hmm. um, there were big buildings, but small classes. So you kind of got the university feel, but you kind of also got the small college feel. Mm -hmm. You got the dorm life, and we got, you know, normal baseball practice, yeah. so. So you guys are friends, son amigos? Yes. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, part of your decision was based on your friendship or being teammates, how did this come about? Su decisión fue porque son amigos también, escogieron la misma escuela por eso? Well, I mean, at first it kind of wasn't like that. Like we went on separate visits and then mm -hmm. uh, after a while, just all the coaches just wanted us to come together mm -hmm. and take a visit then. And so after about three or four of them, we just decided that it'd be best if we just went together and we'd mm -hmm. know someone and we've been good friends. So it just worked out good. So are you guys excited? Están emocionados de esta nueva aventura? Oh yeah, uh, I'm ready to graduate from high school. <laughs> and I'm ready to get yeah. down there for sure. Definitely. For sure. When you guys start, uh, do you start right away? Training, practices, how, how's that going to work out? ¿Cómo va a funcionar? ¿Van a empezar luego, luego a uh, practicar y hacer uh, partidos de práctica? Yeah, we'll get there in the fall. And from then, like, we'll have fall ball with, like, 20 games, I think, mm -hmm. so. And practice and everything, so we'll okay. jump right into it. And what about your experience in high school? How, how was that helpful to your transition into college baseball? Su experiencia en, el, en la secundaria con Rogers Heritage, ¿cómo fue esa experiencia? Uh, una transición para el, cole, el béisbol colegial. Um, it was, the 7 8 West is a very good conference. There's mm -hmm. a um, very good competition up here. Um, so I think just playing the games and playing the competition that we play is going to help us out a lot jumping straight into college baseball. Okay. At a high level. What about you? Yeah, especially with the pitchers that we see and stuff. Like, we see a lot of kids that's going D1 or just Juco like we are mm -hmm. and stuff. That, that will help out a lot. Okay, so. and what about um, this year, um, your baseball team? How, how do you think they're going to do? Or what do you think is going to be different this year? ¿Qué va a ser diferente este año para Rogers Heritage en el, lo que es el baseball? Um, we, I mean, we had a rough season last year, but I mean, we've had some coach, coaching changes and just changing up a lot of things and we'll be a lot stronger this year, so. Do you agree? Uh, yeah, I think uh, <laughs> fundamentally we weren't there last year. Mm -hmm. um, 
this year it's a lot about fundamentals and uh, focusing more on the mental side of the game than mm -hmm. it is for talent wise so I think that we're gonna have a really good good year this year so what positions do you guys play que posiciones juegan en el, en el baseball de secundaria uh, I'm a shortstop and pitcher okay uh, I play well pitcher outfield first base are you guys going to be playing the same positions in your um, college experience? Van a jugar las mismas posiciones en colegio? Yes, yeah, or I at least playing on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, les doy a muchas, les deseo mucha suerte y que sigan haciendo muy bien. Y a todos ustedes, muchas gracias por estar con nosotros. Ahora nos vamos a comerciales y después seguimos con más de Razorbacks en Español.